Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Hopefully my new camera, you can hear me and see me better. Cold! Okay, gloves are on. Just done a video of riding in the winter on this little baby. As I said, I don't often get the opportunity to actually ride a bike. I just get it when it's dead. I managed to ride this bike home and instantly I noticed the front brake. The front brake was juddering. Now in the MOT certificate, it said unable to check front brake. I mean, MOT station, bend down, get on the floor and use a torch. That's stupid, I've never heard that before in my life. Anyway, it passed the MOT with that and I know the brakes are low. So somewhere, I think, yeah, look. Brand new ones, I'm replacing them. What's wrong with this little one? Well, the seat isn't supposed to do that. And this is typical on lads who don't understand how to open the back seat. Sometimes the cable goes, so they rip the damn thing off or they've been messing around. I don't know. That definitely is changing. There's nothing you can do to it. It's the whole bucket is out. Um, I've seen some people put in brackets sometimes before. I'll just change the whole thing. I have another bucket out on the dead one outside. So, what needs doing with this bike and why did I lose so much power? Service. Change the spark plug, clean the air filter, clean the carburetor. Three things straight away I suggest anyone to do when they get a bike, okay? You don't know the history of it. Have a look maybe at the spark plug first before buying one, but generally they always change the spark plug. Why is it losing speed so badly? Servicing is one, and the other, the rollers. I've said this so many times. You don't understand how important the rollers and the belt is on these little bikes. It is the whole thing of it. So what you get is you go, ah, and just nothing happens, and then she'll pull away. That is your rollers and your belt, okay? A little bit of servicing will help it as well, but mainly the rollers and belt, possibly clutch, have a look at that. Later on, we'll have a side panel off, and we'll investigate that. But I know it's going to be the square rollers dirty, or the belt's that loose. And what's happening is you're giving it all. Now, not only are you not going anywhere, not only are you losing that massive amount of speed, say 48 miles an hour, <clears throat> any incline came up right down to 22, 25 mile an hour. And I was doing 30 and Lloyd went by and blew me back five. I actually laughed out loud in the helmet going, because <laughs> I knew what it was wrong with it. It was scary as well. However, don't underestimate them rollers, clean them and the belt. I knew it straight away what it was and that's something we're going to look at today. And I'm going to take this off with you watching me and I'll show you how bad them rollers are or the belt. You also actually pay people off. And you ever wondered why when you're on these, I get some noisy ones, but you get the car driver, keep looking in his mirror, because you're going, ah, ah. sorry for the sound effects. Maybe I'll start it and do it next time. But the reason why you're doing that, and you're not going anywhere, so you're having to do it. The car driver thinks, stupid little shit behind me, blah, blah, blah. It's not, you go, ah, you got to pull away. Anyway, enough chat. Let's get fixing this bike, guys. So, guys, what have I found so far? Well... Cable tie, I don't like them. <laughs> I'd rather put two screws in here. Okay, I found some 10 mil bolts here and the rest are 8 mil. But what's better is I now have Mega Light. <laughs> Made a change, didn't it? Right, I've undone most of the bolts. I've got one more to undo, guys, which I said I would show you as I'm doing it basically. Now, I've got prepared, obviously, my big old bar. I've always said keep this guys. I will get closer, I'm getting better at editing now. So I'll be able to stop and start and show you exactly what I'm seeing rather than from miles away. But anyway, there we have that last bolt off. And there we have guys. Kickstart works on this fine, even though little bits have gone. And in here we have a very, very rusty, dirty looking radiator. Now the belt itself feels good, if I'm honest with you. Huh, that's not supposed to do that, is it? <laughs> well, that's great. Good job we got old faithful, isn't it? Anyway, let's zoom in in here, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. But first, before zooming in, let's show you my old trick. Get the bar on there, like I said before. Let's get my very unimpressive... I thought it was the best find in the world. Maybe it does need charging up again. Anyway... Let's just quickly show you how I do this, guys. I've got many zip on the port. Push it there. Pop it in. Use your foot. And undo. Remember, you're going up. Okay? So, you want to wrap that in there. And there you go. Look how easy that is, guys. Nothing staged. 
I haven't done nothing prep for it. It's as simple as that. So I'll show you again. But anyway, there's the nut. Keep that. There is, look at the state. Uh, very dirty. So, belt actually looks oh, quite good. You can see, look, look. Can you see the shape that's been left in? That tells me this is an old belt. Although it's good, it's old. And let's look at the variator, shall we? Here's the variator. Um, bit stiff. Straight away, there's something I've noticed. There's no little guiders in here. They should be in there. I'll show you some in a minute. And look, guy. Oh, look at that. They weigh, I reckon, about three grams. Can you see, guys? Clean hand. Look how dirty they are. Alright, can you see that? So there you go, guys. I said straight away, variator. Now, servicing is a must, okay? We're going to do that anyway. But that, look, that should fall through. They should be clean. That needs cleaning. They need little clips and cleaning. And that needs doing. So, let's show you what I'm talking about. And there we have it guys, there's your variator system. And there is your dirty look. Okay, we're gonna clean that. Inside there, that's filthy, and as I said, it's not working right. And that is just, looks like rainwater, doesn't it? Anyway, we're gonna clean all that up and uh, show you how immaculately clean it looks in a minute. Right guys, I kid you not, that is how dirty don't know if I can do it again now clean just by wiping in there and this is the only way of doing it okay guys no oils there you go because I'm not lying look at that that will stop lovely rollers rolling okay another bit of clean rag there in it goes just make sure you get your fingers right in there give it a really good clean and it is it's, it's not hard work you know there you go, still black. And, remember what happened a minute ago? Okay. <laughs> I can't show you any better than that, can I? Look at that. That's what it's supposed to do. Go in and out of there, nice and smoothly. Again, rag, rag. Okay. That's that clean. This little bit, okay. Remember I said, these should go in there. Okay. Try not to... There you go, zoom out, zoom in. And they fit nicely like that. Okay? And they... <laughs> can't stay in there. They go like that. Okay? This was wobbling everywhere. Must be in there. Right, these rollers. Don't know if the camera pick it up or not. Without zooming in too much. Flat spot. So, I've had these knocking about for a while now. Um, these are 4.3 grams. I'd like them to be a bit heavier. Um, these are about three, and these ones I'd say probably about four gram, maybe five grams. But these are lovely new, they are what's going to go in this variator. This will stop all of the main problems, as I said guys. These will stop your main problems, okay? Maybe I should have that a bit straight, shall I? There we go. Getting used to this camera. Yeah, it's not this the belt in here goes in and out and this is why you're losing so much speed firstly because they're square pretty much secondly they weren't rolling they were staying either in out halfway and this is why you pick up speed and then literally you'd lose it because they weren't staying out enough to keep the variat system out with the engine torque great guys they're fine um, they're very dirty in the MLT the guy said he couldn't check them and the front um, mud garbage loose it's not loose, the bolt, the, the clamp itself is out. Take it off, put it back in again. Do you know, it's silly things. Check it out, it's a car garage, our autos. It's a ped. That's why the guy didn't do a proper MOT on this. Handlebar slightly loose, he said, and that's just a couple of screws. That's going to be done easily. Anyway, guys, we're going to carry on with the variator system now. I'm going to put it all back together as it should be. Check the spark plug. Um, honestly, I normally clean the carburetor. After doing this, I'm going to check the plug in the air filter. And if it runs good as gold, there's often the thing, ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, 
The fuel isn't old in it. I've just done 20 miles in it and it was all right. It didn't splatter, didn't miss a beat. Um, I might have taken the air link out. Now, I've said this before, I'll show you a picture. On the air box, got a link pipe. Sometimes I'll just chuck that off. But is it running fine? I can't leave it. Definitely get the other little bits done on this. Let's get on with this, guys. Right, guys, on the home stretch, as for the variator, look at that. Nice. All ready to go back on. Now, also, guys, give the main shank a really good wipe up as well, and the Bendix. I have videos on Bendix. Look at that. You can hear that. I don't even show you. That's nice and clean now. Just a little bit of rust on the outside for some reason. Right, the belt, <coughs> pretty good still. I mean, it's just bloody cold. I did also give this a really good clean as well. Do you know what I reckon must have happened, guys? I reckon at some stage, um, guy might have gone through some hell and all water. Do you know what I mean? And of course, it's sat in a shed for a long while and it's not done nothing. And there's a little bit of rust in places, but it's still very, very good. So, oh, that works really well, this does. Look at that, that's all right. There you go. Actually, do you know what? That's not smooth. That's not smooth at all. So, let's take that off and give that a clean. Yeah, should notice that really. Normally I'll show you how well they are. This would have also caused the um, bike not to um, keep its speed up if it wasn't allowing this to go right out again. Get that off. All right, guys, specialist tool. Same 14mm bar. You're not gonna this okay. Some people clamp these, I don't. Okay, this is just brute force. Okay, okay, that was a bit harder than I thought it was gonna be. I WD faulted it and had a good couple of cracks before I went on here. Anyway, there we go. Look. Okay, that is not good. Yucky, yucky, yucky. So, let's clean all this up in here. Again, so, I said before, this is like a brake, guys, look. Okay, little brake pads. And they are shiny, so that needs cleaning and wiping. And then this will do that a lot, lot better. Let's get on cleaning. I'll tell you now, when I get this done, this thing will fly. <laughs> Right, let's get on clean it. Right, with a shocking amount of something I don't actually like using any of these pads here, this was rusty as hell. Um, I'm glad I took it off. Now look, that is a good one. That was sticking like hell. So, nice and clean. I'm gonna get a little bit of an emery cloth on here because I can see, you know, you can't help it, a little bit of WD. But I'm going to rub them ever so slightly, score them so they're rough. I've wiped away all the excess WD-40. Remember, if you're using it on here, guys, remember to clean it off. So I sprayed in here where it's trapped open, the middle bit, and sprayed it down. And I put the cover on to cover these, okay? And then when I closed it, I sprayed WD-40 in here. Let it settle for a little while. Wipe as much as you can away. Play with it again, like opening and closing it, and then wipe all the excess away. The reason why I say that is wipe as much as you can away is when this is spinning around very fast, you get flicks of WD-40 everywhere. It's not good on the belt, it's not good on these high pads here either. So, very happy I took that off. So the rollers are crap, and this was crap. So, uh, happy to find it to be honest with you, and I did say what it was. So guys, if your bike is doing a good speed, but it takes ages to get there, it takes ages to pull away, and you lose speed up every single incline, clutch, rollers and belt. Said it all along, every video. Guys, let's keep going. Um, next, sort of seat, indicator, change both panels on here. I'll show you that when I get on it. God, it's cold. Right. Oh, why am I so cold? Oh, fuck you, I see dead people. Bloody hell. Right, I've just been up and down the road and I thought, no, I'm not going to just go up and down the road, I'm going to go for a ride. Five miles later. Oh, God, I wish I put my bike gear back on. Right, guys, success. There you go, guys. Piston, fine. Spark plug, a little bit on it. Carburetor, just drained it out. Fuel was fine, as I thought. Air fit was fine. 
clutch. That was the problem. Rollers, belt was good. And how filthy it was, have you just seen? So now, guys, this starts up. I was going to adjust the carb on it, but I'll tell you what, let's listen to it now. Why oh, I'm opening the door again. Oh, wait, okay. It's been fixing the back bit. Can you hear that like, not hyperdrive, <laughs> I don't know, where you can hear it now changing gear, do you hear that where it goes, Aah? that's where, as the other video shows where the roll ups are working now, the variator and the clutch, and they get bigger and smaller like they're supposed to, there you go guys, someone just commented my last video, so I've hurried this one up a little bit, to show you that's the problem mate, 45 on a flat, as soon as you come to hill, all goes to bad. Engine cover, get it off tomorrow. You may need the clutch tool. Um, and make sure that the actual bits in the clutch are good as well. Mine was all rusted up, and you see the state of the rollers. Changed them now. I got just under 50 mile an hour of this. I came to the first hill, which slowed that down to 45, 40, and it was quite a big hill, but I carried on. No more 20 mile an hour, because that is really quite scary. On the 20 mile journey I did this morning, the five mile journey now, that was pleasure and it really sped up downhill, it just went right off the actual counter. And that's not up jetting or anything else, it's whatever's done to this one. Now, I didn't check the, the actual jet on here, it has got a sports exhaust, and it's still got the link pipe which I'm leaving on. Just shows, you know, sometimes you don't need to mess around too much, and it's all to do with my clutch and the variator missing the little bits. So if you've got the same problem guys, check it out, sort it out. Guys, like, subscribe, um, check out my videos, there's loads there guys, hopefully this will help you. A uh, quick look at this one anyway. You see it this morning guys, so all I've got to sort out now on this one is I'm going to change these two for white ones because on the other side it is cracked. So guys, there you go, please like and subscribe around the outside, you take care of yourselves on the road here. It's bloody cold, okay guys.